Hey guys, I'm back here. Can you see me okay? I watched a week or so ago the rematch between Tony and Billy. And the announcers kept using the term playing from the chair, playing from the chair. Tony's playing from the chair. Billy's playing, playing from the chair. They didn't really explain what, what they were talking about. I have, this is what I would be talking about if I was talking about playing from the chair. Or in, in this case, it's a stool. So, when I'm not shooting, when my opponent is shooting, it's it's horrible. It sucks. I'd much rather be shooting. But you have to kind of take what life gives you sometimes. And so in this case, my opponent is shooting. Use your imagination in this channel if you've ever heard that before. So I'm just sitting here. But there's some things that I try to do to make the best use of my time. Even though I'd much rather be up there shooting. I don't. I don't want to sit here and cry. I want to try to make the best use of my time. People do different things. What I typically will try to do is just relax. Now, I'm physically relaxed already because I'm sitting down. I almost always sit down when I can. To, I don't know, I think it's respectful for your opponent. You don't want to be standing around and, and maybe making them a little bit intimidated or nervous or whatever. Just back away. Everybody in most big tournaments is going to have a designated place to sit. So I just sit, physically relax, and I just try to mentally relax. And, and what one of the things I like to do to relax mentally is watch pool. Just watch it. I'm not, I'm not watching my opponent and and judging him, thinking, oh, what would I do in this situation? All that stuff. That can all kind of lead to some stress, and I don't want any stress when I'm here. I'm going to have enough when, it's, when I'm up there shooting. I'm not typically rooting against my opponent. I'm certainly not rooting for my opponent. I'm just watching. I'm a spectator. Just like any real bird that would be sitting over here, just watching and seeing what's going on. You can still notice something. If there's a, a roll off on the table that you didn't notice before, well, okay, that's interesting. Maybe there's a dead rail somewhere that you didn't notice before. You can still notice things like that. But I try not to be do anything that's going to give me stress when I'm just sitting here supposed to be relaxed. Some people will take this you know, a step further than that. Instead of just sitting and watching, some people will like grab their phone. And maybe they're checking their email or something, you know, checking Facebook, playing Angry Birds, whatever the heck they're doing. I think it's a little bit disrespectful. But I can kind of forgive them if they're doing it because it is a relaxing thing for them. If they're doing it, though, to try to get into their opponent's head, oh, well, you're not good enough for me to really care to watch you shoot, so I'm just going to do this. If you're doing that to get in your opponent's head, then you're a dick. And I don't like to play dicks, and, and I've talked about that kind of thing before. But if you're just doing it because it's one of the things that helps you relax, playing Angry Birds, you know, more power to you. At some point, eventually, hopefully, your opponent's going to miss, and it's going to be your turn again. When that happens, if I have my phone in my hand, which I will not, but if I did, I put it down immediately, and I stand up immediately. I don't have to rush to the tape like a football linebacker or something. But by standing up, letting my opponent know, hey, I have been paying attention, and I'm ready to get back to playing as soon as you get done moving out of the way, that type of thing. Because I've been sitting down watching, I'm also not going to have any surprises. I've been sitting down watching. And even if the very last thing that my opponent did was miss the gate, say we're playing eight ball, and tie up the six eight, I saw that when I was still sitting here. And then I stood up, and that's not surprising me. It sucks, but it's not surprising me. I don't want to have any surprises. From the time I really, from the time I stand up, as I approach the table, look, walk around, do whatever I'm going to do, I don't want to have any surprises. I want to just get back into pool mode, you know, player mode, turn my concentration back on. 
because it's been relaxed back here. And look at the shots and go, well, that sucks, and try to deal with it, and, and I'll just try to deal with it here. Now they got good enough on that shot. Kind of ish, maybe ish. You gonna roll far enough? Yes. And there we go. If I had missed that eight, and now it's my opponent's turn again, come back and sit down. I like to relax between shots when it's my turn. Each one of those shots that I just did. Shoot the ball. Relax. While I'm moving to the next shot. But I also like to relax between innings. So moving to the next shot, just I don't know, it just I try not to be all stiff and, and tense and all that. Just try to relax. Okay. And I'm here, get back into the, the mode of the proper mode of the shot. It's much easier for me to turn my focus on and off and on and off, whatever, you know, 100 times a game or whatever it is. Probably not 100 times a game, 100 times a match. It's a lot easier for me to turn my focus on and off than it would be to maintain it through an entire match, hour long match, two hour long match, whatever. I am not capable of focusing for that length of time. I'm just not. I mean, some people certainly are. But some people, when they're sitting over here, a relaxing thing for them to do, well, maybe not a relaxing thing, but maybe some people, when they're sitting, they're so focused and they're so able to maintain their focus that they are basically judging their opponents, what they're doing and all that. Are they shooting the right shot? They're not shooting the right shot. Maybe they are doing that kind of thing. I don't because it... it doesn't allow me to relax. The same thing with I'm not reading against my opponent or for them because that, you know, tenses up my, my brain, my concentration. I'm trying to do any of that stuff. Look, no, 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 he's me to say. Another one of the things about like the between inning stuff. Of course, between shots, you've got like a second or whatever to relax. If you're, that's what you're doing. Shoot a shot, relax while you're walking the next shot. Between innings, you know, it depends on who you're playing. You could be playing somebody that is really quick and really horrible. And they could miss right away. They could miss before you sit back down. Or you could be playing somebody like, I don't know, like Eglint Kachi. He might take 15 years between shots. And then Eglint's also going to make several, several shots in a row. So you may be here a while. But you don't really know, and I like to try and just take advantage of what I have. Hey, I have a, some time to relax my, my concentration, rebuild my concentration, reservoir, whatever it is. I have some time to do that. Take advantage of that time. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I want to take advantage of it. In case, just in case it only lasts half a second. This is the way that I do what the announcers were calling playing from the chair is for me relaxing is the most helpful thing I can do for my game for other people they may be sitting here analyzing and, and basically concentrating even when their opponent is shooting and all that and they could call that playing from the chair maybe that helps them the next time they actually get to shoot because they maintain the same level of concentration all along some people that's going to work for some people like me that's absolutely not going to work i'm going to run out of concentration and so that's all i really want to say about this um i think it's just another one of those things that can absolutely help 
Like the trick is knowing what is it? What do you want to do when you're sitting here? What will help you the most? And if if the books all say you must concentrate and focus and you try to concentrate and focus all the time when you're sitting down and it makes your game worse, then don't do it. Just because the book says it, just because somebody on TV told you to do it. And, you know, the other side of the coin is don't relax if that's going to help, going to hurt your game. Just because some guy on YouTube, I right, told you to to relax. Although I'm actually not telling you to relax. I'm telling you that's what I do. You have to find out what helps you, what is the best thing for you to do when you're sitting so you're the most prepared when you get back up there to shoot again. And those are going to be different for different people. Everybody's different. I know I've said that 87 billion times. Everybody's different. And so that's it. Thanks, guys.